We are diving into the fascinating world of medical imaging. What is a CT scan? Meaning multiple X-ray images from different angles. Hundreds of pictures from all angles of more X-rays while soft by the computer. It's here is the thing. The benefit CT scan when they are absolutely necessary. 1971 by a British engineer Godfrey Hornsfield. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into the fascinating world of medical imaging. Have you ever wondered how a CT scan works? Well, you are in the right place. By the end of this video, you will understand the science behind this incredible technology. Let's get started. First thing first, what is a CT scan? Here CT stands for computed tomography. Tomography came from Greek words tomos and graphy. Here tomos means slice or section and graphy means drawing or imaging. It's a special type of x-ray that takes detailed pictures of the inside of your body. But unlike a regular x-ray which gives you a flat 2D image, a CT scan creates a 3D image by combining multiple x-ray images from different angles. Here is how it works. You lie down on a table that slides into a large donut shaped machine. Inside the machine, an X-ray tube and a detector array rotates around your body, taking hundreds of pictures from all angles. These images are then sent to a computer which processes them to create a detailed 3D view of your bones, organs and tissues. Now let's break it down further. X-rays are a form of electromagnetic radiation, just like visible light, but with much higher energy. When the X-ray beam passes through your body, it gets absorbed differently by different tissues. Dense materials like bones absorb more X-rays, while softer tissues like muscles and organs absorb less. This difference in absorption is what creates the contrast in the images. When X-ray pass through the patient and reach the detectors, they convert them into electric signal. The data acquisition system receives the analog electric signal from the detectors, amplifies them and convert them into digital data through an analog digital converter. The digital data from the DAS is then used by the computer to reconstruct the CT image based on the attenuation information gathered at different angles. The real magic happens in the computer using a mathematical process called tomographic reconstruction. The computer combines all the individual X-ray images to create cross-sectional slices of your body. These slices can be stacked together to form a 3D model, allowing doctors to examine your body layer by layer. CT scans are useful for diagnosing wide range of conditions, starting from broken bones, tumors, and even internal bleedings. They are fast, painless, and provide a level of details that is hard to match with other imaging modalities. Now I know what you are thinking. What about radiation? It's true, CT scan do expose you to more radiation than a regular X-ray. But here is the thing, the benefits usually far outweigh the risks. Modern machines are designed to use the lowest possible dose and doctors only recommend a CT scan when they are absolutely necessary. Here is a fun fact. The first CT scanner was invented in 1971 by a British engineer Godfrey Hornsfield. And guess what? He won a Nobel Prize for it. It was a game changer invention in medicine. And here you have it, the science behind the CT scans. I hope you found this video informative and interesting. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more awesome content. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.